But there's a great story in your memo, which I hadn't come across before, about Warren Buffett and the National Fire Insurance Company. Can you just tell us about that story? Because you know about it. As I understand it, uh, National Insurance was an example of the cigar butts that I described. Uh, you know, Buffett uh, being uh, what, what today you would call a nerd, uh, you know, would sit in his uh, back porch in Omaha and leap through Moody, what we call Moody's Manual. It was a big publication. It was about this thick, and it consisted uh, of thousands of pages of very, very thin paper, thousands of pages of paper, uh, with the financials and a description of every public company. And of course, uh, you know, very few people, only only the nerds, uh, would would read it, and and uh, uh, that would leave uh, tremendous bargains for the people who would go to the trouble. So. Uh, you know, Buffett read about something called national insurance, uh, and uh, it had been sold to uh, rural investors um, uh, years before uh, uh, to, by promoters uh, who probably bought it for 10 cents and sold it to people for a buck. And Buffett would drive around and meet with farmers on their porch. Uh, they, uh, they probably forgot that they had it, and they would dig it out and they would sell it to them for. Uh, what he thought was too low a price, and he would pay him in cash on the porch. Uh, and he made a lot of money with it. But that's just one example of, of, of how people found and, and bought cigar butts.